was a full house at the Millennium Stadium. We're ready to go after the anthems. remember for a long, long time and uh, the moment for which we've been waiting for five and a half weeks is upon us. Let's join our commentary team, Ian Walsh and Ian Gwyn Hughes. Thank you, Oliver. And I suppose, follow that. The build-up has been so impressive, the interest intense and all is about to be revealed over the next couple of hours or so. Let's have a look at the Welsh team then this evening just to confirm one thing, change from the side who won in Helsinki. Craig Bellamy comes into the starting 11 at the expense of West Bromwich Albion's Andy Johnson. He is on the bench. Well, much has been made of the inspiration of the likes of Craig Bellamy and Ryan Giggs and Simon Davis, but of course, I wonder what's going through the mind of Danny Gavidon of Cardiff City, winning his fourth cap and. Uh, there's one player who's seen it all, Ryan Gage, at 29, but desperate to play in a European Championship or World Cup Finals. 
Let's have a look at the Italian side and uh, the much criticised coach Giovanni Sabatoni. Three changes to the team who drew with Yugoslavia in Naples on Saturday. Out go Gattuso, Doni and Inzaghi. Income, Di Biagio, Ambrosini and Montella. Tonight's referee is Gilles Bessier. The assistant referees are Frederic Amno and Vincent. Well, the Italian side, not at its strongest, but an impressive array of names, and none more so than number seven, Alessandro Del Piero of Juventus, in fine form for both club and country. Alessandro Nesta of AC Milan as well, winning his 49th cap this evening. A formidable defender and a real test for the Welsh attackers. The referee, the man in the middle, looking as relaxed as uh, anything really, considering the nature of the atmosphere here, is Gilles Vessier of France. And of course the roof is closed this evening for this game. And Wales, well, even if they win tonight, they haven't qualified, of course, and the defeat is not the end of the world. But I wonder if the Welsh performance can match the impressive build-up to this fantastic occasion here tonight. Ian Walsh. Well, I think uh, that roof might not be on if Wales score in the first ten minutes, because uh, the atmosphere tonight, I don't think we've seen the same uh, as this for many, many, many a year. And if we can get off to a good start and put the Italians under a bit of pressure, I think that's very important. But uh, look out for that roof coming off if Wales get a goal. And uh, they won a corner straight away. First corner of the game, and uh, well, we've only had 30 seconds so far, and it's Mark Pembridge who goes across to take it. By the way, it's uh, another new Welsh kit. And... Uh, if Wales were to gain a positive result here this evening, that kit will sell like hotcakes. It's the referee having a quiet word with one or two players. It's uh, very crowded, to say the least, in that penalty area. Here is Pembridge with his first Welsh corner. Everyone back for the Italians. In it comes, it's punched away by Buffon. Not happy with the uh, delivery. Well, obviously, they've uh, worked on that. It was a superb corner kick from uh, Pembridge whipped into the six yard box all the Welsh players in the penalty box but just on top of the keeper trying to take his mind off the flight of the ball but uh, he managed to get a hand to it Savage and uh, thought that Gary Speed had stayed wide on the left hand side Speed had come infield but Robbie Savage will be desperate to win the ball win those crunching tackles in the heart of the Welsh midfield this evening, Gabidon, his first touch, he'll feel better for that. Here's Hartson, Speed, Giggs, given away, and uh, Giggs immediately in possession. And look, two or three Italians crowding around him. He's obviously a danger man, but so too is Simon Davis, so too Craig Bellamy, and the Italians very much aware of that threat. Hartson is trying to glance the header, and uh, Alessandro Nesta. Not the best clearance in the world, but eventually cleared away by Christian Panucci. That's an important time, Wales at home, they're on the up, aren't they? And uh, these first five or ten minutes, Italy will want to try to keep them out. Speeds throw. And it's just uh, cleared away from the danger area by Cannavaro. Anyway, will do. There's Ambrosini, one of the three changes who incidentally was in the Italian under-21 side that played at Wrexham when Wales and Italy last met on, uh, I was going to say, Welsh soil, but that game was played at Anfield in front of 20,000. And the Italians won then by two goals to nil, but Wales have come a long, well, long way since then. They have, but very workmanlike side, uh, the Italians, especially in midfield, across Ambrosini, Di Biagio, Tomasi and Perlo, all hard workers, and Del Piero will drop back to join in and uh, hopefully for him his point of view join in with Montella up front but uh, that's an area of the field where it'll be won or lost that's him just Nesta though cutting the ball away from him and uh, Ambrosini was there tidying up it really is a, a severe test for Wales because uh, okay several Italians are missing in Walsh but you have to respect the Italians 
course you do. There's, there's no doubt about that. And, uh, you know, over the years, they've been uh, fantastic at, at keeping things really tight at the back and winning the odd game 1-0 or, or getting the away draw one all. And, and that's perhaps looking at the way they've set themselves up tonight is, is what they've come for. And uh, with the flair of Bellamy, Giggs, Davis in the side, you know, you've always got a chance with Wales going forward. Nestor and Hartson, it's Savage towards Hartson. That's the picket towards Simon Davis. Bounce was not kind to the Welsh player. Making the run is Del Piero. Hasn't been seen. Instead, it's played wide towards Tomasi. And uh, he's away from Gary Speed, and he'll get the free kick there. Speed winning his 70th cap tonight. Was just caught out there slightly. And foul to Massey. Here's Di Biagio. Positive start by Wales, but now they have to defend. Should be Melville's, who uh, has a slight injury concern. Ricked his neck in training, but uh, thankfully takes his place alongside Danny Gabidon. Wales players pinned back in their own half now with uh, Alessandro Nesta. Ambrosini and the Italians just playing keep ball. Pirlo again, another player who featured in the under 21 game at the race course, and it's well left, but um, not so clever on that occasion by Del Piero. Hartson Italians coming into this game on the back of a 2 0 victory away in Azerbaijan and a 1 0 home draw with Yugoslavia on Saturday night and a foul there by Del Piero who scored with the aid of a deflection on Saturday in Naples I think we, we have to well this is the Delaney trying to go down the line but uh, Del Piero just catch him a little bit late I suppose you have to say a word about the pitch looks very greasy doesn't it some of the players already are losing their footing and uh, we've seen it in better condition but that will mean nothing now because both sets of players are out there I'll get used to it in the first five or ten minutes. We saw Giovanni Sabatoni there, the uh, Italian manager, 63 year old, and uh, had a vote of confidence from the Italian president and is under pressure. But when is an Italian manager not under pressure? Great experience at Juventus, Inter, and Bayern Munich. He's seen it all before. Savage's head forward. Wales, of course, had that uh, great 2 0 win in Finland and the Finns are playing Yugoslavia this evening and uh, Yugoslavia later score there leading the game by a goal to nil and immediately a yellow card for deliberate handball was it against Di Biagio? Yeah as he goes through there just puts his right hand there the Welsh players arms up appealing for it definitely a handball so he's going to have to be careful for the rest of the game Savage takes this free kick, Hartson is there, it might drop here to Gabidon. Well, Danny Gabidon could have made a real name for himself because that was a good chance. And in the end, well, it swerved well wide of the goal. Well, again, it's John Hartson causing all the problems. And it just looks as if Danny Gabidon just took his eye off the ball at the last moment. Hartson, they've worked this free kick, knocked down and uh, just leaning back as he goes to strike the ball. Really didn't keep his body over the ball there to keep it down. Good Maybe chance for Danny. Just surprised that he had the chance and uh, foul given for the challenge. John Hartson and uh, Alessandro Nesta, that'll be a real battle. We've Hartson, seen that free kick a lot in the way it's a centre of the field free kick. John Hartson goes on the penalty spot and just tries to back in to the defender. It's a straight ball up the middle, and then if Hartson wins it, great. If not, you've got midfield players joining in. Paul Jones's ball. Not in the first team now at Southampton, of course. Displaced by Niemi, but uh, wanted to play desperately in this game just to show people he's still around, he said. His Hartson. Not a, a deliberate handball on that occasion by Panucci. Melville is there, comfortably glides the header to uh, Gabidon. 
played over Giggs. Nesta's clearance only as far as Pembridge. Delaney's calling for the ball on the far side, wasn't seen. Huge crowd, of course, tickets sold within 48 hours of the Welsh victory in uh, Finland. Can Wales maintain this sort of interest throughout the group? Here is Montella. Just on this far side is Tomasi. He's behind Gary Speed. Comes off Mark Delaney. And away by Melville. Savage. Here's uh, Giggs waiting for the run from Bellamy. Hartson. Not the best pass from Hartson to uh, Speed. And... Uh, Christian Panucci, I think, is making a meal of that. It's it's difficult to say from here. I'm, I'm sure Gary Speed caught him, and it wasn't a very good pass from John Hartson to it, but uh, no, I don't think Panucci's in that much pain, is he? Well, he was caught, though. He was caught, there's no doubt about that. We have the opportunity to see it twice. He goes in late there, Gary Speed. But it's a shame because John Hartson just flicked at the ball with the outside of his right foot, really making sure, you know, making sure the pass got out to Gary Speed because it was a good movement. Giggs on the halfway line, then the ball goes up to big John Hartson and uh, really a better ball from the centre forward into a wide possession was, uh, was needed there. We've had ten minutes so far. Speed battles to win that possession. Here is Simon Davis, Bellamy. No time on the ball to play Bellamy, but Simon Davis is tidying up and finds Bellamy. And Bellamy's picked up a good position wide on that... Uh, Welsh uh, right hand side into the penalty area and no real momentum and it just runs through to Buffon. Well, there's a couple of good passes from Simon Davis on the halfway line that set up that opportunity. But Mark Delaney was looking for a one two. Simon Davis tried to turn, but that's the experience of Nesta. He just gives himself a couple of yards and uh, Simon Davis just runs into him. But uh, a good break from Wales down the right hand side. Gabidon with Montella. Teller, who uh, scored twice for the Italians in a friendly at Elland Road against England before the World Cup. Pembridge in strongly, but loses out, and uh, well, they thought he was in an offside position, Montella, and the assistant referee on this near side, his flag was immediately up uh, against the Roma player. Well, they're getting a bit of a combination now, aren't they, at the back? Gary Speed, Delaney, the two full-backs, Andy Melville and Danny Gabadon just had a little look along the line, all standing up together, catching Montella offside. Bellamy wants the ball back from Simon Davis. Useful combination, Bellamy does well. Simon Davis into the penalty, can he pull it back? Yes! Simon Davis! What a goal! His third in successive games! Oh! Well, if this stadium was alive before, the fans have gone absolutely wild now. Lovely build-up between Craig Bellamy and Simon Davis. I thought he might play the ball back, but Davis took everyone by surprise. And Wales won, Italy nil. Who would believe it? Well, it's again down the right-hand side, the pace of Bellamy. We thought he was going to whip it in first time, but Davis... Well, nobody expected to hit it from there, but he's rifled it in, into that far corner. A lovely forward run, that's what he's there for. Hits it to perfection. Keeper, no chance. Wales 1-0 up. Well, just over 11 minutes gone, and it's intelligent play between Bellamy and Davis. Not for the first time. Buffon taken by surprise, and look on the delight, look at the joy. That goal means so much to the players and to the supporters. Given away, though, by Pembridge. And the shot is uh, hit well wide by Thomasy. And that's when a side can always hit back, isn't it? You're celebrating the goal and just an untidy pass and suddenly you're on the back foot. Everybody in the ground has celebrated the goal and the fans will keep on celebrating that sphere enough. But what was interesting, when the players were all huddled down in that far corner after the goal, they all just said, look, let's take our time, we'll go back gradually. We've celebrated the goal, now we've got some more work to do. And they set themselves down on the next five minutes is crucial. Well, uh, contrast 
in uh, response to that goal. Sabatoni, despair written all over his face. Joy for Wales, they're threatening again. Bellamy. And Dufan comes out to prevent the corner. Mark Delaney adding his support and his weight to the attack. Well, well. Mark Delaney just pointed to Simon Davis to get himself back into the right back position. I think uh, Bellamy either, you know, normally you'd think he'd take the defender on there, but De Delaney made a great uh, overlap. Overlap run and really just a little side foot into his path would have been perfection. Delaney went for the cross, was caught out, and then Delaney needed a bit of help defensively. Well, we'll see what Italy are made of now. Giggs there, well, Giggs did well, but eventually still Biagio won the possession. And uh, free kick is given. Di Biagio's got to, to be uh, careful here. Wales here, Di Biagio. Foot was high, was it in the challenge? Well, Ian Walsh, uh, most of the supporters have been here since about quarter to seven. They've had Bryn Tedwell, they've had the Manic Street Preachers, and they've seen Wiles go 1 0 up and uh, what, 5, 10, and 15 pounds they paid for the privilege. Fantastic value, fantastic value. But again, we've got to keep this going, keep being professional. And what I like about the Welsh team tonight, they're closing the Italian players down very quickly. I think they're getting at them, not allowing them to get their heads up, not allowing them to pass. And that's why Di Biagio, they got a little bit frustrated. There's no doubt the Italians are rattled at the moment. And it's up to Wales to take advantage. So far, they've done well. Giggs. Ryan Giggs. Tries to set up John Hartson. Hartson, he's got Bellamy there. Drive it across into the middle. Buffon takes it. Savage was calling for the ball high up in the air but uh, Bellamy went looking for Ryan Giggs yeah, but again the danger down that right hand side here that's where the main uh, danger is coming from but it came through the middle there with Giggs' change of feet John Hartson couldn't quite get uh, room to get a strike on target uh, Bellamy it was a good ball whipped into the near post but uh, again Giggs had gone far and Savage had gone far offside there against John Hartson this is where John Hartson just lost his footing a little bit. It's not a bad ball if somebody attacks that near post. And as you can see, Ryan Giggs and Savage at the far post uh, wanted a little trip ball. Well, the atmosphere is intense and it's uh, superb inside the stadium at the moment. Still a long way to go, though. There's Pembridge working ever so hard. Loses the possession, though. Wales trying to crowd out the Italians, appeals for handball, nothing given. Hartson tries to flick it on to Bellamy, but the presence of the defender behind him made it ever so difficult. Well, the discussion was prior to the game, Ian, amongst many, how are the Italians approaching the game, would they be cautious? They've got no choice, choice now, they've got to come looking for the equaliser, of course. Well, they will be patient, though, because whether you score now or in the last minute, it doesn't matter, does it? No, exactly. The goals change matches, don't they? You know, they change the complete outlook. You can have a plan up your sleeve as a manager or a coach, but that goes out to the window if you can see the goal. And I think Robbie Savage is still protesting about something, and the referee wants a word with him. And uh, I just he's telling him to uh, just be careful. We don't want to uh, have another yellow card or a yellow card this early in the game. But it's a free kick to the Italians for the challenge made by Delaney. And Del Piero will whip this one in. And Wales have to be on their toes. Everyone back inside that Welsh penalty area. Watch out for Cannavaro. And it comes from Del Piero. Should be headed away by Hartson. Tomasi, it's a dangerous cross away by Gabigon. Pirlo picks up the loose possession and uh, wanted to run. And uh, he's got a lot on his mind, I would imagine, at the moment. Sabatoni, a lot to think about. It has, because, you know, Wales, over the last half a dozen games, they've got more and more difficult to break down and they defend the box very well indeed. And, if they do allow teams sometimes to go into wide positions, but they've got plenty of numbers in the box to defend the area. And you just saw there that the work rate of people like Davis down the right-hand side, Savage down the left-hand side, will help the left and right fullbacks. 
So they're all working very much as a team. Foul by John Hartson on uh, Nesta, and it's an Italian free kick. Uh, I think he was looking for the free kick there off Gavidon. Seemed to bounce off Gavidon, uh, did Montella. That's where Wales have to be careful, though, Ian. I mean, it's all part of the Italian tactic, maybe, you know, in case you can see free kicks in a dangerous area. He did catch him there. Well, that's right, you know, you just hold... Danny, you've got to learn to just hold the, def the striker there because the striker will get a touch and then he'll move the ball quite quickly in, in the same motion and then that uh, encourages the defender to get a touch or a tackle in. And Danny's just got to be a bit more patient when the, the player isn't going anyway. Straight into the wall. Ibiagio shot. It's wide towards Canucci. Manages to get the cross in and Danny Gabbard on his away. Piero, Canucci's with him, away from Simon Davis, manages to get the ball across, away by Pembridge, here's Savage. And uh, Speed just tidies up eventually, Davis in again, Hartson and Giggs waiting for each other, and Robbie Savage will be booked. I don't think he made any contact, I think he lunged into the challenge, and I think that's just because Referee had a word with him about uh, five minutes ago. Yeah, there's a, we're having a few moments now where Italy are just dominating. And again, the referee said to him a few moments ago, you know, just cut it out, cut it out. You could see that he was saying that. And uh, again, the, the Welsh players just going to learn to stand and be patient rather than diving in. We saw Simon Davis do it wide right. And now uh, Savage has done it. Another free kick to Italy. Davidon gets the ball away. Giggs just does enough to find Savage. Oh, yeah. Referee controversially gives the free kick. Well blocked by Delaney, the effort by Di Biagio. But it's very much the Italians on top at the moment. And I think he uh, realises it, dead in his rescue there on the on the sideline. But um, We've had this, that it, there's going to be times in the game where Italy will dominate because they are quality players, there's no doubt. And uh, it's just whether the defence can hold firm. We've seen it over the last half a dozen games and uh, so far we've got 21 minutes gone and uh, Wales are still keeping the Italians out. Speed. Too far ahead with Ryan Giggs and Camucci takes up possession for the Italians. Waits for the run from Del Piero. And Gabidon looks for his goalkeeper. He settled comfortably again, uh, Danny Gabidon, against quality opposition, there's no doubt about that. And when that ball came in from the free kick, he was uh, head and shoulders above everybody, springing like a salmon to uh, head the ball away. Again, Bellamy and Simon Davis working well this time. Nesta came across to clear the danger, but that's not a very good clearance. Here is Giggs in towards Savage, it might fall for Giggs again. Hartson. Wants to use Bellamy, here is Craig Bellamy. Two players crowding around him, Bellamy still going too close to Buffon, but uh, Italian's not too convincing at defending there, and Wales trying to exploit that. And what's happening, Wales are playing a lot down the right-hand side with Bellamy's the outlet, not so much at the moment, with uh, Ryan Giggs down the left-hand side, but what Ryan Giggs is doing is joining in in more of a central position. Midway point of the first half, Wales leading 1-0, courtesy of Simon Davis's goal. He's holding their shape, Italians looking for a way through to get back into the game. Pembridge is there ahead of Pirlo. Tomasi. And Pembridge gets the second bite at the cherry. Here's Giggs. Handball. And a deliberate handball again. Is it from uh, Pirlo? Very tricky the pitch, isn't it? Down this near side. Players find it very difficult to keep their feet. Well, the, the roof was open during the deluge on Sunday. And then it was closed, of course. 
um, and we had terrible weather here yesterday. I suppose the initial damage was made on the Sunday, though, during the downpour. Here is uh, Del Piero waiting for support from Zauri. Here is Zauri. Montella. Del Piero with him. Zauri's continued his run. And Pembridge just concedes the corner. Winning his 45th cap this evening, Mark Pembridge. And I tell you what, in those 45 caps, he must have run hundreds and hundreds of marathons, mustn't he? Because he has been all over the field. He has been fantastic for Wales. His appetite in uh, that midfield area and his determination is fantastic. Del Piero with a corner. Paul Jones just gets the touch and he misses it. And that was a golden chance for Panucci. Did he get the touch just to take it away from Panucci? He might have done enough. But that's the closest the Italians have come to getting back on level terms. Let's uh, see. Well, he missed it. He and Panucci just timed it. it completely, Paul Jones. And he perhaps uh, needs that first touch or a good take, if you like, to give him a little bit of confidence. He came flapping for that over the top of two Welsh defenders and uh, really was miles away from it. Panucci very nearly scoring his second goal for his country. This time John Hartson penalised for the challenge on Panucci, another Italian free kick. Montella is possessed. Still they have the possession. Now Simon Davis. Bellamy. Delaney looking for Hartson. Picked up by Savage. Good play from Savage. Good use of the ball, good use of Gary Speed. Has space on the left. He's got Hartson to aim for in the middle. Pulled behind Hartson and Giggs. Excellent Promising. play by Savage, though, wasn't it? You know, people think he's just a tackler and a runner. But he showed good skill there to bring it on to his left side, open the play up out to Gary Speed. I think he was hitting that on the run, Gary Speed, trying to whip it into the near post, and uh, maybe we need to try just a flighted ball into the far post to John Hartson to see what damage he can do in the air. There is uh, Simon Davis. Bellamy, how often we've said that in this game so far, Bellamy and Simon Davis, Delaney now down the right-hand side. Lovely ball from... Uh, it might drop here for... Oh, Giggs was setting himself up for a shot. And that was excellent defending, was it, from Panucci, who just got the touch in. Just wouldn't sit down for him, would he? Fantastic move. Delaney, been excellent down that right-hand side with his overlapping runs. On this occasion, Bellamy picked him out to perfection. You could see it from a high position where we're at. That was the ball he should play, he did play, but just wouldn't sit down quickly enough for Giggs. Wales now keeping possession well. Here's Belleville as uh, Savage makes a forward run. Hartson. This ball which just went off. Good tackle from uh, Pembridge. Here's uh, Savage. Thought about the shot. Giggs is calling for the ball. The defender was a bit too tight there to Robbie Savage to enable him to have a, an effort on goal. I think that's the only thing he could have done because there weren't many options. I think it just opened up in front of him. The defenders were dropping off slightly. He took a chance. As ever, he's working so hard in the middle of the field, Robbie Savage, but he's been booked. Melville gets there ahead of uh, Montella. Pirlo. Montella wanted that ball a lot earlier. Andy Melville had gone in to win the header, dropped down in midfield to Pirlo, and he's picked his head up. Montella's made the run. Melville out of position, but then changed his mind and... Uh, to nothing. Well, every decision is going against John Hartson. and it did in Finland as well. And uh, I think that John has said something, and I suppose the uh, warning is next time I'll book you, but <laughs> I don't think John agrees with the uh, French referee. Come on, referee, say, come on, give us a chance. But that's his game, isn't it, uh, John Hartson? Physical, big lad, uh, you know, likes the physical contact of the game. But him and Savage are the two players we've got to be, be wary of because, you know, sometimes they can lose their patience a little bit. And Savage already in the book. John Hartson's just got to be a bit careful. Here is uh, Tomasi. 
but his skill comes to Marcy, tries to get the better of Speed, who uh, stood his ground. Much of the game at the moment being played in the uh, Welsh half. They have the all-important goal, here's Panucci, comes off Gary Speed, I don't think he knew too much about that. Panucci drives that one forward, straight at Paul, uh, Paul Jones. AC Milan and Real Madrid player winning his 31st cap this evening for Italy. Hartson, good header. Simon Davis, fine touch to uh, Bellamy. Bellamy in full flight. Needs it to pull it back, but it's cleared away by Cannavaro. Delaney in strongly. And what's the decision going to be? It's a goal kick. All credit to the Welsh players. Delaney, one of them on that right hand side if there's a tackle to be won they are going in to win it and the likes of uh, Pembridge in midfield Savage, Davis and Delaney there's been tackles flying around and they've been there first and they've been the stronger almost half an hour played here and it's 1-0 and uh, well, I thought John Hartson would get the decision there but um, obviously felt that he was making a back for the Italian defender not having much luck at the moment, John. Well, there are some strange decisions, I have to say, in terms of uh, that one on Andy Melville. And I think the Welsh players are just asking the question, well, he's backing into Melville. I and suppose what? he was holding there, but... Um, the Bell Craig Bellamy... Has got involved and has been booked. Uh, we've got to be careful of this referee, that's for sure. We've got to be careful of this referee because now that uh, another one, you could lip read there, Craig, saying, What have I said? I didn't say anything. So, and the referee, is he giving it another 10 or is he just. Oh, he's pushing the wall back, but this is danger. Del Piero Montella on the ball. These are world class players in this position. Anxious moments for Wales and for Paul Jones. Del Piero takes a deflection and it's in. Well, he scored with a deflection against Yugoslavia and it takes a cruel deflection away from Paul Jones. And the Italians are level, and that will be a talking point. The nature of the free kick in the first place, and the luck certainly went against Wales there. It's Italy back in the game, and this is the deflection, and it came off Mark Delaney. Yeah, he gets ahead to it, Mark Delaney. At least he didn't take his eye off the ball. He tries to knock it away, but there's Paul Jones could do nothing about that. That's just bad luck from a Welsh point of view. They jump as. A in unison, just as a tactic to try to get a touch on the ball, but that's affected them badly, because if they stand still, it just goes through harmlessly to Paul Jones, but uh, that's so unlucky for the Welsh lads out there. So the Italians back in the game with a vengeance, and that was a costly free kick to give away. Simon Davis wins the ball. Here is Pembridge. Simon Davis, now then, Craig Bellamy. It's a Welsh throw, it came off Cannavaro. Oh, it's a real blow. Big frustration, big frustration. The ball goes forward and, and John Hartson just seems to lean forward. And uh, was it Cannavaro or Nesta was all over him? Same ball exactly, bit of contact between the players. Referee gives a free kick. Del Piero, had luck on his side, there's no doubt with that free kick. This is a good run from Del Piero, again gets a bit of luck, but uh, this time Mark Pembridge stops in, in his tracks. Danny Gavidan gets there, has to be said the Italians have been threatening the goal in terms of possession after conceding 
to uh, Simon Davis. Here's Robbie Savage, and I don't think Ryan Giggs is too pleased with that pass from Savage on that occasion. Well, it was a poor ball from Robbie, picked up a good position, but uh, just a little bit too much on the, the, the return ball into Giggs' feet. Ball drops kindly for Del Piero. There he goes for goal. Difficult bounce for the keeper. There's a bit of sand in that penalty area. And again, it's, it's important on, on nights like this that you do hit the target. John Hartson holds the ball up well, but there's no support wide on the right hand side. Here is Delaney. Pembridge. And towards uh, Simon Davis. I suppose there will be a feeling of injustice because uh, the free kick wasn't given to Wales and then Andy Melville was penalised and then the deflection. Yeah, I think it's going to be a night of, of many emotions, uh, Ian, because of the massive atmosphere, the massive expectation in the ground. We are playing against Italy at the end of the day, maybe not their best side, but they are going to have their moments in the match and it's how the Welsh players deal and react to those negative moments. and. Uh, We'll soon find out as the rest of the game continues. It's a good ball, looking for Thomas, he does well. Good shot, oh, wasn't far away, Montella, excellent play by the Italians. Ball drilled across Montella with a shot, but that was a terrific cross. Did well to keep the ball in play, Tomasi on that occasion. Yeah, it was a late run, left Gary Speed for dead. Nobody closes him down. And that's not far away. He's a good player, this lad, is the Ambrosini. Down that right-hand side. He's shown one or two good touches already. On the volley, left foot. Montella just pulling the shot wide. Ten minutes until half-time. Free kick is taken quickly. Wales are backpedalling. And it's out for a goal kick. Well, he'll feel happier now, Trapattoni, that his side are on level terms. pass is comfortable for Ambrosini. Nesta. Ambrosini. Wales just keeping their shape. Here is uh, Nesta again. Canucci. Yeah, they're keeping the ball to silence the crowd as well and then try to uh, up the pace a bit and take Wales by surprise and Paul Jones had to come quickly there to deny Montella but slowing the game down and then in one pass changing the pace and Wales under pressure yeah that's right over the last five or so minutes uh, we haven't got the ball in midfield this is the one over the top and he's dangerous uh, Montella just drifting off the defender giving himself half a yard I got a bit excited there a bit earlier on where <laughs> I was mentioning Ambrosini down this right, but of course it's Tomasi who is uh, holding this right-hand side for Italy. Simon Davis's touch, Pembridge, Hartson. Tries to thread the ball through very nearly to uh, Craig Bellamy, Savage. Simon Davis just got lost. Savage is in. And uh, the free uh, That's a shock, isn't it? Go to Italy. That's a shock. As soon as there's a melee of players in there, and. And uh, Robbie Savage was in there. The referee waited, give himself two and a half seconds or maybe two. I give the free See kick that. against Wales. They're all at it in there. Savage isn't doing any, just standing in there. Simon Davis is going for the ball. Ah, go on, let's give it to Italy. Hartson. Seven minutes until half time. Terrific evening so far. And uh, Simon Davis gave Wales the lead as the Italians threaten again. And Del Piero with the 
aid of a deflection from a free kick. Has brought Italy level. And it's, it's funny, you, you can feel a tinge of disappointment in the crowd, but it's won all against one of the best sides in Europe. Savage tries to flick it through to Giggs, and uh, I think Ryan Giggs felt the move and the momentum had been lost and just turned his back for a second. Speed's header. Fine touch from uh, Ambrosini away from Bellamy. He's Ambrosini again, slips, presents the ball to Simon Davis. Davis looking for Bellamy. Pass not hit firm enough on that occasion. Speed. Pembridge. And taken out of the game, and uh, there'll be an ironic cheer for the foul, and Savage has said something again, he's got to be careful with this referee because he's been booked. Can't afford too much back chat or he'll see uh, another yellow and uh, Wales will be down to ten men. Uh, he's got a smile on his face, he can't believe what's going on around him, but uh, as you say, and he's got to be careful. Headed up in the air by uh, Cannavaro, and this time the free kick is given to Wales in a good position. And the Italians this time aren't happy, especially Di Biagio. Well, into the back of Robbie Savage from Di Biagio. And this time... I think, uh, I think this ref is, is easily led, you know. I didn't think that was particular. I thought it was a good leap from Di Biagio and uh, caught him in the back a little bit, but I thought it was a good leap and head away. But, this referee, we've got to be careful. But they've got uh, Del Piero, we've got Ryan Giggs. Let's see what he can come up with. Oh, Pembridge is there as well. It's an excellent position for Wales, of course. And it would be a great time to score with, what, four minutes to go till half-time. And Craig Bellamy's just in a bit of trouble. Pembridge and Giggs. Up comes Ryan Giggs, curls it off the crossbar! How unlucky can you get back in towards Savage? Well, well, well. You know, history repeating itself. When Wales were one down at Anfield against Italy, last time they played at home, Giggs had a free kick, similar position, and he hit the crossbar, and he's done the same again. Well, we well they can see the goal with the deflection, and then exactly, they hit the crossbar. Exactly. How about this for technique? Brilliant. Keeps his body over the ball. Keeper beaten. How unlucky can you get? You need the luck sometimes in football. Italy got it with their free kick, and we didn't get it on that occasion. But lads will just keep plodding away, hoping their luck will change. Here is uh, Pirlo. And it's a well throw. Exquisitely struck, Buffon was beaten, this is the uh, shot from behind the goal, lovely curl, so unlucky. Oh, why didn't it just bounce down and over the line? Well, and maybe people will like, oh, why wouldn't anybody following up, but I don't think it was one of those where you could have done anything, it bobbled up quite high. But um, we'll just call that one a marker for Ryan Giggs, shall we? Frustrating for him, but it was a good position. And I would imagine it's, it's quite unusual for Ryan Giggs down this left-hand side. Hasn't seen that much of the ball with uh, on a one-to-one -one situation with a defender. Del Piero turns well. This is where the Italians are so, so threatening. Comes off uh, Mark Delaney, and it's the second Italian corner. The Ajo's cross was a, a poor one, but uh, Del Piero, of course, a specialist, delivering the dead ball. Two minutes until half-time. One all. 
against Del Piero. That's a testing one and uh, punched away by Paul Jones. Excellent corner. Tomasi. Nesta. Del Piero stayed wide on the left. Takes on Savage. He's away from Savage. Del Piero, another deflection. And this way, it drops kindly for Wales. Giggs. First time he's really seen the ball. Tries to take on uh, Tomasi for pace. Tomasi's struggling and Giggs has the better of him. Looking for Hartson. And Nesta had recovered. Well, that's a nice break from a dangerous position, Wales. We have to have cover when Del Piero's one against one out on that left-hand side. And he was up against Savage. Somebody's got to get across for that second ball because we've got to have cover when he gets in and around the penalty box. Into the last minute, plus any time played for stoppages. Headed away, Pembridge is in firmly. Tries to find speed, and it was a good idea, but uh, down speed, Gary Speed. with the throw, Tomasi, Montella, Zauri, asking Del Piero to turn and run, Melville was there first, Simon Davis, neat touch to Bellamy, just snips it through to Savage, excellent play, flicked on by Hartson towards Simon Davis, here's Delaney, there's a minute of added time to be played, Bellamy threads it through nicely to Simon Davis. Davis looking for Hartson. Hartson's header. Under pressure from Nesta. Just couldn't direct it down enough. But again, threatening play and Simon Davis involved. Again, down the right hand side, Bellamy Delaney involved initially. And then it's the early cross this time from Wales. And uh, he just needed a little bit of a run on this, I think, John Hartson. Gets up quite well, but uh, not high enough to, to keep the ball down on target. But that's the sort of ball that he'll thrive on. Delaney battling away. Hartson gets there ahead of Cannavaro. Bellamy. Still going, Craig Bellamy wins the throw. We have had a minute of added time now as uh, Pembridge spreads the ball towards speed and that's the last action of the first half which has been a dramatic first half to say the least and matching the build up to the game no doubt about that Simon Davis giving the Wales the lead after just over 11 minutes great link up play with Craig Bellamy and then Del Piero equalising with the aid of a deflection of Mark Delaney from a free kick and there's Ryan Giggs who hit the crossbar with a free kick and no doubt asking questions of the referee Gilles Vessier about some of the decisions made regarding free kicks given for the Italians and against Wales. All to play for in the second half, though. Let's hope the second half is as good as the first half-time here at the Millennium Stadium. Wales won, Italy won. I'm sure the second half full of drama to unfold and maybe a man in the middle in yellow, Gilles Vessier of France, could play a pivotal role in that, just on Simon Davis, it's been quite a few weeks for, here, for him. <laughs> More chips, don't let the salad win. That's the message uh, in terms of the uh, nature of the food, maybe, that uh, we consume in Wales compared to the Italians. But it's the Italians who will restart the second half. But Simon Davis scored that memorable goal in Croatia. The second in Finland has scored this evening. And on Thursday, of course, was made Welsh Player of the Year. Quite a few weeks for him. Referee just checking his watch, and uh, incidentally, that goal conceded by Wales, it's only the third they've conceded in the last six and a half matches. And let's hope, uh, from a Welsh perspective, they don't concede any more in the second half. As uh, Craig Bellamy, immediately to uh, Mark Delaney, and John Hartson it was, who was in an offside position.
Italians definitely on the attack at the moment. The ball is played across offside though against Del Piero on this near side. You can afford the smile. It's a quick break by the Italians and uh, I think two players were caught offside, Tomasi and Del Piero. Well, it's touched on by Hartson. Simon Davis does well, gets there ahead of Ambrosini. Bellamy. There's that threesome again. Delaney. Davis. Pembridge is in field. And it's played just out, just crossed the line. Rather tight on that occasion. There's Craig Bellamy. Of course, there's uh, been a frustrating few months in terms of injury. And of course, suspension in the Champions League for Craig Bellamy. But he loves this sort of stage. Uh, it's difficult for any player not to enjoy playing in this sort of occasion. Ambrosini. Del Piero tries to lift the ball. And uh, the challenge was late on Del Piero. Going to start sloppy, you know. Uh... Craig Bellamy, little foot over the ball a couple of times, yeah, that's all well and good, but he's got to make sure of the pass. Pembridge is crying out for the ball in field. Zauri. Good turn and shot on that occasion from Montella. Turn well. Lovely disguise from Montella, received the ball into his body. Looked as, looked as if he was setting it up. Gabidon's gone the wrong way, look. Half a turn on his left foot. Didn't quite get hold of it. That's what we've got to be careful. Gary Speed lost possession, Del Piero is again offside. He's just a bit quicker off the blocks in the second half, in the first three minutes or so. Hartson, he touches it down to Giggs. Back to Hartson, back to Giggs, just too far ahead of him, it might drop over to Simon Davis. Two Italians clear the ball. Del Piero just barging into Del, uh, to Delaney. And just smiles there from the two players. <laughs> I think the referee got that one right, did you? Andrew Melville with the free kick for Wales as the crowd find their voice. Looks towards John Hartson. Simon Davis. Bellamy. Finds Hartson. Tries to clip it and it's just going over. I can see what he wanted to do there. Just set up nicely. Simon Davis again involved, not giving the ball away at all tonight. Sets up Hartson. I think he was just maybe looking for the far corner. But it's not a bad effort, is it? Just tries to clip it. Big keeper, this lad, though, isn't he? Tall. But again, down that right-hand side, Davis and uh, Delaney involved again. Gianluigi Buffon, though, knew that was going over the crossbar. Cannavaro. Pirlo. Pirlo again involved. Panucci. Montella. Gabidon's gone with him, and uh, well, stroke came off Gary Speed. There's Montella, Savage is in, away by Melville, and uh, he's given the free kick against Savage. Well, he waited there to see what would happen, and the Welsh have cleared their lines, and he's decided uh, to give the free kick. Well, he's let advantage play here, the referee. He's gone into the box, and... Uh, Miguel, I told you, you have to watch this referee. Well, it's a strange decision. Maybe the challenge was untidy, connected with the ball. Wales clear, and then decides to give the free kick to the Italians in the end. Again, there's a deflection off the crossbar. Pirlo with the effort, it deflected, and Paul Jones 
absolutely superb reaction from Jones and keeps Wales in it at one all this time. Did it come off Ryan Giggs? And Ryan Giggs Great turned response his back from Paul here, Jones. Turns his head on the ball there, Ryan Giggs. Maybe shouldn't be doing that. Great save from Paul Jones. Absolutely wonderful save. But I think he was wanting three men in the wall and Pembridge was a little bit to the side. This time Wales clear. Well, that would have been a talking point had that gone in after that free kick. Great reaction from Paul Jones. Deceived for the first one, of course, couldn't have done anything with the first free kick, which uh, Del Piero converted, but um, going one way there, one change thing, of direction, did ever so well. Yeah, one thing you can't afford to do in the wall, if you're going to be there, you know, you've got to keep your eye on the ball. You know, if you turn your head, yes, it can get come off your ear all on the side of your head, but uh, all credit to Paul Jones, that was a wonderful save. was a strange decision initially, but uh, it's passed now, as Melville takes this free kick, looking for Hartson, gets the touch, but can't direct the header towards Bellamy. But again, I think there's a warning there, have to be so careful in and around that penalty area, and especially with a referee who seems intent on penalising. I think Mark Hughes will have tried to instill that into his players, but, you know, in and around the penalty area, Either make sure of the tackle or stand on your feet and don't commit yourself. Just make sure that they don't get a shot in. Well, Savage is harrying there. Brought a round of applause from the supporters. Making life difficult for the Italians. Del Piero's touch, Gabidon's there. Savage. Here's uh, Giggs, plays it through to uh, Simon Davis. Giggs continues to run, and Buffon just rolls the ball away, and uh, is put out of play by Canucci, Savage has stayed down. Let's see if we can see what exactly happened there, Savage is involved, and... Uh, and if that's not a high brute, I don't know what is. Again, and the referee within ten yards of the incident. Di Biagio it was, whose boot was high. They can't believe it, uh, Two well slides there, Gary Speed and Andy Melville just can't believe it, he can't believe it either. Well, he's not letting Savage receive treatment, and <laughs> that's a look of disbelief, isn't it? Well, there'll be some talking points, and I'm sure it will be discussed after the game, and uh, tomorrow, no doubt, the performance of the uh, French referee, Gilles Vessier. Look at that look about him, the referee, is it? As though he just wants a personal battle with all the players, you know. Well, and the fans, I would imagine. <laughs> Here's Hartson. Pembridge. Delaney to his right. Makes it too far ahead of gigs on that occasion and uh, Bellamy just wanted the ball played short to him wide on the right I don't think it's a bad ball you know he's just clipped it down the line and, and Ryan Giggs is just wanting the ball to feet I think we're getting far more movement down this right hand side with Bellamy and Davis and Dilly. they're prepared to run they're prepared to run beyond defenders and unselfishly they you know not always getting the ball well run by Pembridge Hartson Pembridge just gets there ahead of Del Piero. We've had ten minutes of the second half, the closest to a goal, a free kick, which was carried onto the crossbar by Paul Jones. Pembridge and Ambrosini. Delaney. Tomasi was beaten there by speed. Giggs heads in field. Here's Delaney. Now he does have Bellamy outside. Waiting for some support, some movement. Here's Simon Davis. Pembridge is inside. Pembridge, I'm not sure if he meant that. Mark Pembridge! But I'm sure. <laughs> He intended the pass, but it deceived the Italian defence completely. And, and then, he, when the gap opened up, 
he didn't strike it as firm as he would have liked. And he's such a perfectionist, isn't he? You know, he was cursing himself, he had the opportunity, and we know what a wonderful left foot he's got. Just didn't get hold of it. Pedro. Tomasi. Diagio. Zawadi was wide, it's played forward. Uh, Paul Jones just watched the flight of the ball. Nullified the threat of Montella. Speed. Ambrosini. Melville. Hartson wins the ball, but Zauri is there for the Italians. And this time the foul is given against Montella. Okay, Danny Gabadon has, has got physically stronger over the last 18 months. He just stands his ground, but yes, he's pushed over there by Montella, leaning all over him. But he's a lot stronger in the challenge. Bellini to Bellini. Melville in quickly ahead of Del Piero. Pembridge. It's just uh, very tight there. Just a little bit sharper from uh, Bellamy. is definitely the outlet down this right hand side, but he's got two good runners around him. Both sides just being very careful at the moment. No one wants to make the mistake. I think we are going through that period. And we're not seeing much uh, goal mouth action. Played in the middle third of the field. Hartson. Savage. Just instinctive there, out to Giggs. Speed has gone on the overlap, here's Giggs. Speed. Savage to Gabadon. Recently looking for the opening, Giggs. Like glue, Canucci is behind him. Giggs wins the free kick. Wanted to take the free kick quickly, couldn't do so. I think the uh, sign language is cut it out. Yeah, to, uh, to, to the, the Welsh players in the first half. Chance to get the big men forward, though. Melville, Gabidon. Speed will be in there, all good in the air, good delivery we need. Huge draw around this stadium, Melville, Hartson, Gabidon all adding their presence. Barry Speed, of course, a threat from this sort of situation. And if jostling, in it comes. Speed rolls, but couldn't get then, Del Piero clears. Uh, fraction away from that, Gary Speed, had a good run into the near post. Delaney. In the air for a long time, Hartson to Savage. Well, Hartson rose magnificently. He's been a superb outlet in this second half, John Hartson. Head and shoulders above. I thought it was a handball for a fraction of a second there, but Caravaro off his left thigh. Safely back to his keeper. But uh, John Hartson is, is winning everything now that's pumped forward from Wales. Simon Davis. Giggs wants to take over responsibility. Pembridge. Wales just building up some steam now, quarter of an hour into the second half. Bellamy threatening a bit more again. Delaney's on the charge, good defending from Cannavaro. Keeps the ball in play as well. Montella knocked off the ball by Gabidon, no foul. Simon Davis to Bellamy. Ambrosini was in quickly. Bellamy just wanted a bit too much time on the ball. Here's Pirlo. Savage's challenge just enables Wales to get enough red shirts back. Zauri. Pirlo. Tomasi will want the ball, demands the ball, but uh, Pirlo ignores him, it's with Panucci. They've been under some pressure, so the Italians just taking the sting out of the situation. Pembridge is in quickly. Del Piero. A touch from Melville is enough. Here is uh, Simon Davis. Here's Giggs. Hartson. He's got Bellamy alongside him. Looking for Bellamy. Zauri's back there. Zauri very nearly. Oh, and I think he thought that Bellamy had given up on his run. 
<laughs> Thumbs up from the goalkeeper. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't have backed uh, too many people against Craig Bellamy. I think he's because he's missed a bit of the season, maybe not at his 100% best and quickest, but uh, nice little breakaway again, all stemming from a breaking up of the play from Simon Davis in midfield. Cambridge did well towards Hartson. Hartson tests it down for Giggs, it's well blocked. Good block from Nesta. And again, he's involved here. Doesn't get away from uh, speed, a touch is enough. When it's counted, the Italians have been there. Here's Pirlo. Montella's made a run. Del Piero heels away from Delaney. He's supported his way by Zauri. Cleared away by Melvin. Uh, Zauri got into a good position there. Just lost again down this right hand side. Pembridge was trying to cover, but Melville was the man, saw the danger early. It's an Italian corner. Italians are about to make a substitution. Gennaro Ivan Gattuso will shortly replace Di Biagio. In the meantime, Wales have to defend a corner, and it's that specialist, Del Piero, to take it. 17 minutes played in the second half. Del Piero testing the Welsh defence. Firm headed away. Received the ball back, Del Piero. Savage with him. Two sevens clashing. Savage. It's a Welsh throw. Well played, Robbie Savage. That's what he does best. Robbie Savage sticks to you like glue. Del Piero or no Del Piero. And uh, he just stood up, didn't dive in, didn't commit himself. Just frustrated Pierre Del Piero to put the ball out for a touch. <laughs> John Harson knew he was going to be penalised, didn't bother to look up. Just held the ball and gave it to the Italians. Here's Pirlo. Panucci. Still no substitution. They took the free kick so quickly. Cannavaro. Slowing the pace down. Here's Nesta. That's going nowhere. And that is Luigi Di Biagio, who is going off. And his replacement. Well, one from Inter Milan, replaced by an AC Milan player. Tuso comes on to win his 17th cap. Another one of this squad who played against uh, Wales at Wrexham in uh, an under-21 capacity and featured on uh, Saturday against Yugoslavia. And I must say, he looks a fearsome character. The dark-haired version of Robbie Savage, maybe. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Speed. It's hanging an awful long time. Pembridge is there, one of the unsung heroes always for Wales. Mark Pembridge, flick on from Hartson. Speed again, just lifts that ball forward. It should be easy for Nesta. Savage. Giggs closing him down is Pirlo, looking for Bellamy. Panavaro came across. Fine skill, but Savage did well. Can he deliver a cross? He can, but it's headed away acrobatically by Nesta. Camucci. Well worked great from Robbie Savage. Here's Bellamy just again showing a bit too much of the ball. And Savage well, he nearly missed the ball and uh, missed the man as well. Free kick goes to Wales. It's the first time we've seen. Uh... Craig Bellamy drift over into a left-hand side or a central role. And uh, again, maybe a couple of times a little bit sharper on the ball. Would have seen the opening, but... Uh... Here's Giggs towards Simon Davis. Davis looking for the angle, deflected corner. Best Welsh effort of the second half. About an intelligent play there, he's picked up the position that Bellamy drags the players to the right, and he was only looking for half a yard, 
just that half a yard away from his body, a quick strike, and Italy were lucky that they got that little deflection. First Welsh corner of the second half, one all. Keeping a close eye on John Hartson and his Cannavaro. Every Italian defender back in the penalty box. And the referee just having a word with a couple of Italians and Welsh players. Penridge's corner, headed firmly away. But there'll be another chance to deliver. Buffon's come a long way. It might drop for Simon Davis, doesn't connect properly. Oh, he's still in, John Hartson. It's a corner. For, for John to take it on his left foot, maybe give the defender a chance. And again, the ball going in there, the first player to make the connection again is Simon Davis, who's gone across to take this corner on the right hand side. Referee keeping a close eye on what's going on in that penalty area. It's another Welsh corner. Simon Davis will take it this time. Speed makes his move. Had it firmly away by Ambrosini. Italians preparing to make another substitution. It's uh, Macaroni who's about to come on. Have to defend this first of all. A two so. It's a bit of a mess of a challenge. Gabidon. Finds Pembridge. And Savage will take the safe option all the way back to Paul Jones. There's been some movement on the Welsh bench, but uh, with Wales looking one all and still threatening. Mark oh, Hughes not feeling there's any need to change. Here's Bellamy. Cannavaro's keeping a close eye on him. Here's Giggs. Just keeps the ball in play, speed. And for Hartson, here is Hartson, needs to chest it down to Savage. Idea was good. Idea was very good, difficult skill to control and knock it perfectly into the path of Savage would have been very difficult, but uh, again, a superb position. Hartson just drifting across the front of the defender to get in a good position. Hartson, he's got Bellamy with him, didn't see Bellamy, here's Simon Davis though. Took the wrong option, and uh, when Hartson had the ball there, I think Bellamy was in a better position, and, and John Hartson didn't see him. But the Italians making another substitution, and it's uh, not a surprising one really. Vincenzo Montella is coming off, and uh, it's uh, Massimo Macaroni of Middlesbrough who will be replacing him. Uh, Simon Davis trying to hit you with the outside of his right foot there, trying to bend it in that far corner, just pulled it a little bit. But again, you, you have to give credit to John Hartson up there. He has been a mountain in this match for Wales. He's held the ball up, but he's had to. He's flicked it on. He's taken all the batterings from uh, Nestor and Cannavaro back there. And he still comes back for more. Ambrosini finds Del Piero. Lifting away from a few Welsh challenges. Still going, Del Piero. Could save Paul Jones again. Well, they allowed him to go an awful long way there. And... Uh, Paul Jones saved with his feet, but Del Piero was threatening, he drifted away from four or five Welsh players who stood off him, well, and that could easily have been 2-1. Well, again, he just they just didn't want to foul him there for the for the free kick, but Pembridge tries to get a challenge in, goes across uh, between Savage and Danny Gavadon, who tries to get a, a foot in, but uh, again, all credit to Paul Jones, it's down round his feet, sometimes very difficult to get something on that, and he managed to get his right boot on it. Speed, Gabidon, Hartson, plays it through to Bellamy, Craig Bellamy, Craig Bellamy, it's 2-1 Wales, Craig Bellamy, the first real direct effort he's had on goal, skillfully takes it round Buffon, great pass through from John Hartson, and Craig Bellamy restores the Welsh lead with less than 20 minutes to go. For the second time, this stadium, 72,500 people, erupts.
Wales 2, Italy 1, and they deserve it. What about this from John Hartson, though? What about this from the big centre forward? The ball just comes into him. And he shows all the composure in the world. He slants the ball through. Does he panic? No, he doesn't. Goes round the keeper. Buffon and slides it into the empty net. Great skill there to take it on the angle. And then he slants the ball. And that's all come from John Hartson's great skill and the running ability of the young Welshman, Craig Bellamy. Wow, what a goal. Simon Davis's was quality. Oh, and this was superb under pressure. Great composure. Hartson, and he's going to be penalised. Well, great goal from Craig Bellamy, but what superb from John Hartson's strength Absolutely and the ability wonderful. to deliver the pass as well. And look, Bellamy delighted. Well, he is, and uh, a, a few moments ago, he gave one or two passes away, and all of a sudden, he's gone to join in with John Hartson, a little bit more of a central role. He's even gone the other side of John Hartson, so he was itching to get a chance. He was itching to get that ball that was knocked through the centre of the pitch, and he got it to perfection. And he still had a lot to do. Round Buffon, and here he's he goes again. again. Buffon's coming out a long way. Well, Sapatoni said before the game that he respected Giggs, Davis and Bellamy, and two have scored. Great case from Bellamy. Uh, and as Tosh was saying at half-time, defenders hate having people run at you. And uh, when you're so direct as uh, Craig Bellamy tends to be, uh, it's great to watch. Giggs, Savage wants the ball. Speed towards Hartson. Hartson turns. Simon Davis! Well, they're on fire, they're rampant at the moment. And Mark Hughes, well, he's not showing any emotion, but I wonder what's going through his mind now. Good challenge from Melville. There's 17 minutes to go. Giggs needed to make that his, but Savage is there, so too is Speed, and look at the gaps. Mark Hughes on the touchline, telling Giggs to run. Across comes uh, Nesta, and he's won a corner. Well, that's the first time Ryan Giggs has got the ball at his feet because Gary Speed won a crunching tackle down that left-hand side. He sets Ryan Giggs away and then that's all he wants to do is knock it out of his feet and use his pace. Well, the noise is incredible. The emotion too, although he's not showing any. He knows there's a long way to go. Not too long, mind. 16 minutes. Wales leading 2 1. One of the goal scorers, Simon Davis, the other, Craig Bellamy. Buffon goes, punches. Mark Pembridge, not what he intended. Hartson's offside. And that's a nice response from Wales, going 2 1 up. Nine times out of ten, the opposition piles the pressure on for the fight, next five or so minutes. But Wales are still taking the game to Italy. Oh, and the noise, Ian, is quite incredible. Free kick. And now every little decision going against the Italians. And this is where everybody's got to keep their composure. That's at the most composed people in this 72 and a half thousand arena are those 11 players out there Gary Speed with a free kick Hartson's there but he's headed away Pembridge and Gabidon sandwiching uh, Del Piero well there's a man who maybe thought had won all his side would get away with a point but now maybe that's the best they'll get Trailing 2-1, quarter of an hour to go. Well, you can't argue that you don't get your money's worth watching Wales, and certainly tonight, uh, the pre-match entertainment, and Ian, the main fear, the 90 minutes on the pitch, which is what it's all about, never mind the hype before the game, that hasn't disappointed either. Yeah, 15 minutes to go, got to keep concentrating. Here's Bellamy. Wins the free kick of Zauri. And 
Mark Pembridge in no hurry at all to take this free kick. Cool down, says John. Andy Melville is on the edge of that penalty area. Only Macaroni staying up for the Italians. They're under pressure. They're steering defeat. Here's Pembridge. Not a very good free kick, but it does come back to him. And it goes all the way back to Paul Jones. Savage's ball, maybe? No, decides to play it long. Pembridge. Bellamy. Simon Davis up ahead. I think I can go to him a little bit earlier. Looked inside uh, Craig Bellamy to see if there was any options, but Davis had made a good run up the outside. Could have got to him a bit earlier. A two so to uh, Ambrosini. Just can't get the ball. And he looked for the free kick there. Off Delaney. And this is where Wales have to be careful. Yeah. This time it's the Italians who throw everyone forward. They've dragged the ball in an extra five yards. The actual incident was about five yards closer to the touchline. But he's gained valuable space, valuable yards. Pirlo will deliver. Again, there's a deflection. Got to get two so. Immediate danger is over. And Bellamy will chase and chase, and it's all the way back to Buffon. That's the way to defend. Again, Mark Delaney to give that free kick away. He went, just gonna hold your ground rather than dive in very quickly. Well, the assistant referee gave it one way, and uh, referee corrected him, gave the throw to Wales. Savage, Giggs, Savage as well, just the touch is enough to take it away from Panucci. Macaroni, but Giggs is there first, Gabidon. It's an Italian throw. Seconds ticking away, Macaroni for Italy, Gabidon's with him, lifts it over, Gabidon does well, Macaroni, Gabidon's back there, and it's a corner. Macaroni showing great skill, just getting away from uh, Danny Gabidon, and it's the third Italian corner in this second half. Yeah, all credit to Gabidon, though, he showed the pace, he didn't give up, has the ball gone over his head, he's got back in, unfortunately, to give away a corner. And Del Piero will take it, plenty of white shirts there, Delaney heads clear, Gattuso desperately tries to uh, regain possession, but Bellamy, now oh, Bellamy's got Simon Davis on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side, rather, just delays, Giggs is going through the middle. Disappointing, but so promising as well. Yeah, so unlucky, long, hard run for a Craig Bellamy up that right-hand side, and ball needed to play a little bit wider for Giggs. Here's Pirlo, the ball to Del Piero, no free kick, he still has the ball though, maybe he shouldn't have been allowed to have that possession. Goes down under a challenge, Macaroni's there, and it's cleared away by Mark Delaney. We're into the final ten minutes, and by the Welsh, I'm sure, will be under pressure, they have the ability and the players to catch the Italians on the break. Simon Davis tries to turn away from his man, holds the ball up well. Allows play to go on, and uh, well, that's a strange. similar incident earlier on when he gave the yeah, free kick to yeah. the Italians when they've lost momentum. It's yeah. uh, some strange decisions, no, not consistent. Pirlo. Well, let me it was who was back there. Delaney. Nowhere really to go for Mark Delaney, except forward, and he's going as well. And forces the uh, covering challenge from Zauri. And now he's got to get back. <laughs> yeah, he's got Bellamy who's going to go back into that position for him. 
Macaroni drifts away, gets the ball across. Del Piero's there with Macaroni. Melville sticks to him, he's looking for a corner. Anxious looking, well supported, you expect to be under pressure. 2 1 up against the Italians especially with eight against, minutes to go. Yeah, especially against the likes of Del Piero, who's got close skill. Stadium is alive with noise. Paul Jones's ball and Savage, chance to clear. He didn't take advantage. Del Piero again, again, there's a deflection. Gabidon, Giggs, just the touch is enough. The two subs there for Italy. Comes wide to Del Piero. Threatening every time, well blocked by Pembridge, and again. I think he knows he's got it wrong there, a little smile on his face. Well, a smile or no smile, if Italians score from it. Well, Di Biagio, when that high boot with uh, Robbie Savage on that left, he knows that the referee's got it wrong as and well. And so does Mark Hughes, Mark I think, Hughes. with a wry smile there. Pirlo with a free kick. So many Italians there, a ricochet could go anywhere. Panucci and Gary Speed, all eyes though on Pirlo and that Welsh penalty area. Seven minutes to go, Wales leading Italy by two goals to one. Only once have Wales won and that was in Brescia with an Ian Rush goal. Here is Pirlo, straight into the wall and Wales could catch them on the break. Bellamy, Giggs, away from Gattuso, to Bellamy, Bellamy, he's got Simon Davis with him, oh, it's not a very good ball. That was a chance for 3-1 there, they had 2-1-1. On and that's what we're talking about, the pace and the, the running ability of the likes of Bellamy, Davis, Giggs on that occasion. You know, they have run their heart out for the country tonight. I tell you, this is it, he just tries to... Knock it in between the defender and the keeper on the inside of his left foot, caught his instep a little bit too close to the heel, and he dragged it away towards the goalkeeper. Now that's something you don't often see, a foul throw. And there are some Italian defenders, you know, when they've got back there, after that uh, Bellamy and, and Davis, hands on their knees, they look tired, because they've been run ragged by some of the runs made by the likes of Bellamy. There's another substitution, it's uh, Massimo... Marazzina of Chievo comes on to win his second cap. And... Uh, well, it's Gattuso coming off. Well, he, how long has he been on? Ten minutes? I don't think he could... And it's not me, surely, he's saying. Oh, I obviously oh, haven't made an impression in that ten minutes. Well, you don't see that often. That's a bit of an embarrassment for him, and well, he's not waiting, is he? He's not happy, and you can't blame him. Five minutes. That's another Italian free kick. Again, Wales have to defend. It's whipped in, headed away firmly. It's John Hartson back there. Great defending. These last five minutes will be tense. They'll be long five minutes for everyone concerned. And it'll be uh, the Welsh fans will want to hear the final whistle, I'm sure. Here's Zauri. Wales just need to keep their shape and their composure. What a ball. Great what a ball, ball from Pembridge. Here's Bellamy on the attack again. He'll run at Zauri. Towards Giggs. Giggs. Cross goal to Simon Davis. Oh. That could have been game, set and match. Giggs volleyed it across goal. But Simon Davis have stretched another couple of inches. That would have been 3 1. Great Welsh. Break. What a break, but look at the runners, look at the runners, desire to get in the penalty box, lovely ball from Bellamy, and just Simon Davis had run 55 yards to get into that position.
well, studious face, a man in thought, deep in thought, and uh, Ian Walsh has to name a man of the match, I'm sure there's 11 that you'd choose, Ian, but you have to name one. Yeah, we've got a few more minutes left yet. Here's Bellamy, Pembridge, Savage. Oh, yeah, the runners again, isn't it? Left Del Piero for dead there, Savage, wanted to win that. All the way back to Paul Jones, and what a crucial save it was from Paul Jones off that deflected free kick when it was one all. It was a superb save. Away by Gabidon. Giggs. Oh! And Savage goes down, wins the free kick. And that was cheeky from Giggs, wasn't it? Three minutes to go against the Italians. I think we've seen today with, with Ryan Giggs, we've talked about him being the main player in the Welsh setup. Here it is. What about this for a little bit of magic? Robbie Savage working hard, but talking about Ryan Giggs, now he believes he's got ten of the players in the side that can play to his level. Well, he was climbing all over John Hartson, who was Cannavaro, and uh, free kick doesn't go his way, but that's wasted by the Italians anyhow. Mark Hughes, he, he made a living out of backing in the defenders. Can't believe the decision going against him. Here's the Italian captain, Cannavaro. Less than two minutes to go. Great tackle from Delaney. Played in field by Simon Davis, but they've lost possession. And here is uh, Ambrosini. Again, Simon Davis involved. Wins the ball. And it's an Italian throw. Ian Walsh will name his man of the match in a moment as uh, Zauri. Taking on Simon Davis. Oh, that's a poor ball from Zauri. Well, given away though by Pembridge. Finds though only Panucci. Ambrosini headed away. Zauri, away by Gabidon. Pirlo. Gabidon stretches just as a nerf. Well done, well done Danny Gabidon. He's grown in stature, he's grown as a player tonight, they all have. Well, they've all been absolutely massive, the players out there. They've been massive. And look at the spaces on the Welsh fans. Well, they're all coming up with their tricks now. Can't afford to get too complacent. 30 seconds of the 90 to go. Delaney, and he's fouled. Oh, for me. And uh, for me. Zauri will surely see yellow, but Bellamy's still going. Bellamy, 3-1! Craig, oh, he's not going to allow it, is he? He's not going to allow it. Ah. He's not going to allow it. Bellamy's down injured. Delaney's in a heap. Well, what drama at the end, and that would have been it, but he's not going to allow it. And he's shown the yellow card to Zauri. Well, that's incensed the crowd. Well, you couldn't have had a more dramatic ending to this game. Let's see, there's the foul. Well, that's a desperate, that's a sending off offence if ever I saw one. There's the mistake. Now, the Italian players thought the game was still going on. You know, at the end of the day, the referee is at a nightmare. He's had an absolute nightmare. You know, you're talking about advantage. Yes, it's a terrible challenge, but he's got to have vision to see the rest of the game. And all of a sudden, you know, you look at Craig Bellamy up there, let's just hope that he's not uh, injured too bad. We'll just mention here that Simon Davis is Ian Walsh's man of the match. But uh, there's Mark Hughes, look, he thought that was 3-1, and he can't believe it because the attacking side, the side with the advantage, was punished. But uh, just to reiterate, Simon Davis is man of the match, but they're all heroes. Wales haven't used the substitute, there are three minutes of added time, and a minute has already been played. Hartson, 
John Hartson still battling for possession. Well, everybody has to keep calm. Oh, oh the Italians are threatening here. And he's dwelt on the ball, and Wales have cleared their lines. Here's Savage. Savage will run the ball to the corner, hopefully. And he's lost out there to Panucci. Wales within 90 seconds of a famous victory. This will be reminiscent of Germany in the early 90s if they can hold on. Offside. Oh, good spot. Good spot. I was watching the runner there. And all of a sudden, Marazina made that little darting run forward down the left hand side. Oh, <laughs> There's too much for some. Well, the noise is incredible. I haven't heard anything like this involving the Welsh side. One minute of the added time to be played. Paul Jones with the kick. It's offside against John Hartson. And Mark Hughes wants to waste a few seconds because Nathan Blake will come on. And I think Tapatoni knows that his side is staring defeat in the face. And who knows, this could be his last game in charge. But that won't concern Mark Hughes. And who's going off? It's Craig Bellamy, the goal scorer. And the applause will be deafening for Craig Bellamy. And he'll take his time. And slow down, Craig. Mark Hughes is saying, slow yourself down. Absolutely superb, um, Craig Bellamy. Massive performance. I hope he's uh, OK after that knock late on. But uh, to come back from uh, the season that he's had with injuries and everything, world-class performance, superb, nothing more you can say about him. He's looking at the clock, Tabatoni. All Welsh eyes are on the referee. Away by Melville. The three minutes are up of added time. There can only be seconds left. He's looking at his watch again. And it comes. Anywhere will do now for Wales. The noise is incredible. It's a Welsh, or rather, is it an Italian free kick? Well, this is it. You this surely. Stand up. You've got to stand up in no sort of. That's it. He's blown. A famous Welsh victory. Superb. The noise is incredible. People were hoping for a Welsh victory, but no one really believed it. But it's actually happened. Fantastic scenes here at the Millennium Stadium. Tremendous result. 72,500 people. Absolutely delighted with what must be one of the most famous Welsh victories ever at this level. Absolutely incredible. And Mark Hughes takes it all in and acknowledges the support of the crowd. The Italians have been beaten, and there was nothing lucky about it. Wales deserved the victory. Well, there was a time early in the second half where was it going to happen, was it not going to happen? And I thought John Hartson in the second half was absolutely a mountain of front. Everything that went forward, he was involved in, and he set up a fantastic pass for Craig Bedley to go on to get the winner. Absolutely superb performance from the Welsh team. And Mark Hughes must take a massive amount of credit, maybe all the credit, for how he's turned this Welsh nation of ours around with Welsh football. Well, they're all being given a fantastic reception. Simon Davis, one of the goal scorers, scored the first goal. And then the second goal, of course, stunning goal scored by Craig Bellamy. Mark Hughes, you don't often see him smiling at the end of a game. But look, he wants the crowd, he's lifting the crowd as well. Hugs Robbie Savage. Well, I've never seen scenes like this involving Welsh football before. Absolutely, Absolutely incredible. Absolutely superb. You know, I think there was a time when Italy got that equaliser. Did we have a belief as a nation that uh, we could go on to win this game? But we said at half-time that Italy there were there for the taking because we had the runners and the willingness with the young players in the side, the likes of Delaney, the likes of Davis, the likes of Bellamy, Ryan Giggs, maybe a quieter game, but still instrumental in the way Wales play in general. But John Hartson up front, 
takes a lot of the credit. And I tell you what as well, the boys at the back, the unsung heroes, the likes of Gabidon, Melville, you know, Delaney, Gary Speed, Mark Pembridge, the players that worked and cracked for you time and time again, they have now got their just rewards with a fantastic win over this Italian side.